Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a typography logo design in Adobe Photoshop. Let's dive right in. Start by selecting the text tool and input your desired text. Right click on the text layer and choose Rasterize Type. Now, pick the lasso tool and carefully select the alphabet you want to manipulate. Right click and select layer via cut. Repeat this step for any other letters you wish to modify, like the letter C. With the selected letters, you can freely move them around to your liking. For example, I'm moving C to the left. To refine your selection, utilize the Quick Selection tool, and select the alphabet C. Click on the H alphabet layer and hit the Delete key to remove the excess. Adjust the position of C as needed. Now, drag the alphabet A to the left, and merge it with the alphabet C. Hold the control key and click on all three layers you've been working with. Right click and select convert to smart object. Right click on this newly created layer and navigate to blending options. Here, choose color overlay and select your desired color. Return to the text layer. Reduce the text size. And add a subtitle if you like. Press Ctrl T to transform the subtitle and align it with the upper text. Adjust the subtitle's color as desired. Hold the control key and select both layers. Right click and choose convert to smart object once more. Now, open the mockup logo design. You can find the download link for the mockup in the video description. Download and use it. Double click on this layer to open it in another window. Locate the logo you've designed and drag it into the mockup window. Press Ctrl T to adjust the logo's size and placement. Hide the preview logo layer. Close this window and click Yes to apply the changes. There you have it, a stunning text logo created using Photoshop. If you're eager to learn more about Photoshop, don't forget to visit my YouTube channel. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more captivating Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching.